All right. Welcome back to another episode of Web3 Talks. Uh, this is brought to you by Web3 Devs. We're a blockchain development company based out of Memphis, Tennessee, or, or majority of our teams based out of Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, we, we are a decentralized team just as blockchain technology is decentralized. And here on Web3 Talks, we talk about blockchain technology and how it's impacting the business world. And today we have a guest that you have not seen yet on any of our prior episodes. Uh, David, would you, would you like to introduce yourself? Yep. Hello, I'm David, David Bruno, and I'm a software engineer. All right. Awesome. So David's joining us because he has an awesome uh, story that uh, anytime we we get to talking to people at, at events and, and things. They uh, they just they can't believe what they're hearing. So we wanted to get on here and and tell David's story of becoming a software engineer. So uh, let's see. I had I jotted a couple notes here. Um, let's see. What are you? Uh, okay. Well, you already hit your you're a software engineer. So what were uh, were you a software engineer a year ago today? No, I was not. You were not. So, and and this is uh, November of 2018. Uh, what what were you uh, doing a, a prior to being a software engineer? I was a full time self taught automotive mechanic working at a local shop. That is that's awesome. And what 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 led you to connect with software engineering and, and wanting to learn it? Uh, the one and need more out of life. I got tired of living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck and doing very hard labor every day. So I wanted to seek employment where I would make decent amount of money to live more comfortably and not have to get so dirty and wore out every day. Cool. And I believe you connected with one of uh, our members here with Web3 Devs. Uh, yes. Uh, so I downloaded a meetup app where I went to a local blockchain meetup and I met uh, a person there who was giving a speech speaking there. His name is Brian Winslow. And so after that uh, meetup, I had approached him and asked him, you know, like, Hey man, uh, I, I, I like what, what this stuff is. I don't really know a lot about it, but I'm very curious to learn more. Would you guys be willing to give me a chance? And sure enough, I was, I was given a chance. Awesome. And uh, we actually have a prior episode where we talk about meetup because uh, uh, Aaron and Brian and I were doing an episode and, and it came up that we're, we're frequently asked about meetups since all of us seem to attend them all the time. Uh, so that, that, that's another awesome connection. And Brian and Aaron uh, connected through, through the uh, blockchain 901 meetup scene as well. Um, so, all right. So what, uh, what are you working on now? Like what, what have you so January and now we're in November um, you, you've been doing blockchain development for, almost a year what's what, what are you enjoying doing and what are you working on now well i started back in february 2018 reading and writing my first line of code as of right now i am a software engineer doing a lot of blockchain development and here recently we've been traveling 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 frequently to various hackathons participating and acquiring bounties and, and collecting prize money and stuff so here lately i've been just working on small various blockchain projects Cool. Yeah. And uh, we we have it in our uh, list of topics, but we're going to do an episode on the Wyoming hackathon that we attended that, that you went to uh, with the team and also the EOS hackathon in San Francisco as well that, that you attended as well. So that's uh, uh, we'll, we'll have we'll have future future episodes on there now. Uh, and a question that I get frequently from people is like I'm interested in blockchain development or either they're uh, they're a software engineer or, and they want to learn blockchain or there's someone like yourself that is not a programmer, but they're attracted to um, blockchain as a, as a place to, to uh, begin their software engineer journey. So I'm interested in hearing from you uh, because I, I know the answers are completely different between a software engineer that adds blockchain stuff to their resume versus starting from scratch. So could you just like walk us through like 
all the the learning like you know all the resources whether that's online or books or people and just kind of give us a rundown of everything that you've you know consumed over the last year that you found valuable uh yes actually so what really started me off and got me going was a website called freecodecamp.com and it's all completely free and it teaches you everything of uh, a full stack developer would need to know um, and full stack meaning, you know, front end, back end, the in between, server side, etc. cetera. Um, and it's all about JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and just a lot of different frameworks, Node.js and React. Uh, so FreeCodeCamp would be my hands down first place to start. After you complete that course, it should take you several months at putting in close to an hour a day. If not, you should have it done within six months at 20 to 30 minutes a day. Um, from there, there's another great site called CryptoZombies.io, and it teaches you JavaScript as well, but it also teaches you primarily Solidity programming language. And the Solidity language is the Ethereum blockchain uh, smart contract language. So that's a great entry point to break into becoming a blockchain developer, which there's a great need and growing demand for blockchain developers right now. And then my last suggestion which is what I, I also did and what really launched me into understanding better uh, how everything works as being a developer was, is a site called Udemy. And there are several great um, courses. One particular would be by uh, the Complete uh, Developer Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steele. And he teaches you everything a full stack developer would need to know and you build various apps. And that one helped the most because um, although it's pre-recorded, I was able to have a second screen up and do code along to everything that they were doing. And while you're coding along, he's also explaining you piece by piece that this does this and this does this. And in doing so, you yourself are typing the code and you get to see firsthand what your changes do and when things break. And it also gives you a great, you know, firsthand look at, um, troubleshooting errors and solving issues and if you've done all three of those then you you'll be a very high level knowledgeable just software developer yourself awesome awesome thank you very much can uh you think anything else that i, I know that I, I mean i heard you interviewed at eos hackathon uh uh by uh, a uh yeah a girl that was uh vlogging uh, YouTubing and also I also overheard you uh, speaking with some people at the YO hackathon uh, that were you know digging into your story and and wanting to hear more is, is there anything we left out or anything you can think of that uh, that you you want to add on uh, there's a lot of corners that I cut and a lot of things that jumped over of what led up to this moment but basically it comes down to determination how bad you want it and repetition. Repetition is everything. It's a very di difficult mountain to climb, but if you just tackle it in small chunks, and if you do it, apply yourself every single day, you can do this. It's really not that bad, and it's great job security. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, uh, David, thank you for joining us today on Web3 Talks. And uh, once again, Web3 Talks is brought to you by Web3 Devs. We do blockchain development and also blockchain uh, consulting where we help connect businesses to the blockchain. So if that interests you, please come visit us at web3devs.com and we would love to talk to you. So this has uh, been episode five of our Web3 Talks and we will see you next time. Bye.